Another week, another Albert Square resident is arrested on suspicion of Lucy Bill's murder. This arrest stuns the Square. We can't say any more than that the arrest causes more upheaval. One local resorts to drastic measures for the sake of their family, while two people decide to leave the Square forever. Elsewhere, Vincent confronts Paul about his accusations and he admits he was wrong about Les and Claudette. But Vincent soon finds evidence that he was right. Claudette faces up to Paul and he tells her to stay away from his nan, but later Pam asks her for her help with the Coca centenary party. Les reluctantly agrees that Claudette shouldn't go to the party, but she ignores him and shows up anyway. Pam notices Paul's odd behaviour and feeling guilty, he tells her about the affair. Next, it's Corrie. Sarah Platt has a love rival, her daughter. A smitten Bethany does a drug run for Callum after meeting him in the dog, but suddenly the police arrive. Later, she tries to kiss him, just as Sarah walks in, and Bethany is consumed with jealousy when she later watches them kiss. She tells Callum she'll stay quiet about the drugs, if he's nice to her. But Callum gets the upper hand when Sarah humiliates her after she claims he eyes up other women in front of Sarah. Audrey tries to reunite the Platt women with a pampering session. Does it work? Well, later, Sarah cancels a date with Callum to take Bethany to the chippy. Gary clumsily tries to woo Alia with a picnic hamper, but she's preoccupied and later runs to the loo feeling nauseous. She discreetly takes a pregnancy test, but Beth finds it in the trash and teases Alia in front of Gary. But Sinead covers and says it's hers and Alia sobs to her that she slept with Jason. It's Roy to the rescue when a pile of boxes falls and traps Kathy. He takes her out for the day and Ty, Fizz and Ches tackle all her junk. Kathy does her nut, but soon comes round to Roy's remedy. Last, we visit Emmerdale. Charity sends Kane another visiting order and Moira thinks he's lied to her when the person confirms a Kane Dingle is there. But it's not him, it's Ross. Charity piles the pressure on Ross to split up Kane and Moira, while a stressed Debbie pleads with Ross to disappear now. Meanwhile, Moira receives a picture of Kane kissing Chrissy, though Ross panics that Kane knows he sent it after he mugged Robert for the pics. Debbie writes Pete a Dear John letter, and she and Ross plan to vanish until Kane delivers a bombshell and a furious Debbie dumps Ross. Is it all over? Elsewhere, after Chrissy's plan to hire Ross to get the photos back from Robert backfires, she dumps her problems on Andy in the pub and soon turns amorous. Pollard is mortified when Val decides to fake her own death to avoid court, then despairs when she hands him her eulogy. Later, she plans a final dinner for her nearest and dearest, but is unhappy with the response. <laughs>